हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड नाउ इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सॉ ऑल वट एवर इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स इन मेटलर्जी ओके सो नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वट एवर मेटलर्जिकल ऑपरेशन ओके मेटलर्जिकल मेथड्स सो वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट मेटलर्जिकल ऑपरेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ ओके सो सी यर विच आर दो मेटलर्जिकल ऑपरेशन से metallurgical operations in that basically uh, different different methods are there okay or we can say various steps we can use in the metallurgy of uh, whatever you are metal okay so in that first step okay first step uh, we are going to discuss here enrichment of ore what better here enrichment of ore or we can say enrichment of ore or dressing dressing of ore or you may write or concentration of ore concentration of ore okay so whatever this ore enriched ore so that we have to convert into so see here conversion of enriched ore see here conversion of enrich or into into oxide of that metal into oxide of metal okay so it is what we better here second step now see here so your third extraction of metal extraction extraction of metal from their oxide what do we know from from their oxide okay or we can say from metal oxide and fourth very much important refining refining or we can say here purification or refining or here what beta purification yes purification of what metal purification of metal understood so these are very much important steps so first you have to enrich uh, means uh, uh, whatever you uh, are crushing and washing all whatever physical methods okay enrich or dressing of ore or we can say concentration of ore next conversion of whatever that enrich or into oxide of them, of that metal so why we are doing oxide of that metal because whenever that metal we convert into their oxide so extraction become what easier what better extraction becomes easier okay next extraction of metal from their metal oxide so whatever metal oxide we are getting so we are doing what extraction of that okay so that extraction uh, Of metal from the metal oxide, we can say that method is what we do here reduction. What uh, we are doing here reduction by uh, uh, with the help of reducing agent like uh, carbon, carbon monoxide, H two. Okay, these are what we do reducing agent. Okay, so we will discuss here uh, one by one. Okay, so uh, we can discuss here. Now, in first, uh, whatever our uh, different types of concentration of or or we can say what dressing of ore in that we will discuss small a small a part okay gravity separation okay gravity separation gravity separation or hydraulic yes or hydraulic washing hydraulic washing so these are very much important Uh, we can say physical method hydraulic washing so for that for that here we have to take one inclined plane okay so like that we have to take inclined plane okay we can write here what uh, we take here one inclined plane we uh, took okay and uh, like that okay so uh, whatever inclined plane okay so here here idhar humko kya karna hai whatever this grooves okay ye jo grooves hai usme kya hoga so see 
these are what uh, suppose we will wrote uh, like this okay uh, some more okay like that inclined plane suppose we show so these are what beta grooves here okay so whatever ore plus impurity okay so whatever here ore plus impurity your ore plus impurity okay so suppose these are what beta ores plus your impurity are there and uh, with the high pressure of water okay so uh, suppose either of ne pani ko giraya high force se so what will happen here whatever ore so depends on density okay suppose uh, either humko kya karna hai ore and impurity mein se okay either ore or impurity ko bhari hona zaruri hai okay suppose ore will uh, weight higher then is grooves mein wo fas jayega understood understood this thing and whatever your impurity that uh, flows down along with your water so here uh, one more here important we have to flows down here water okay means uh, apply we have to apply a high speed of water from here so what will happen okay so we can write here one statement if ore have a greater density so see here if ore have greater density okay then then it will then it will fixed in grooves okay then it will fixed in grooves and your impurity and your impurity falls down falls down with water with water understood so if we considering here high speed of water so whatever here if suppose uh, uh, your ore having highest grains uh, highest density so ore jo hai wo idhar fas jayega okay in grooves then whatever your impurities we can collect out and like that okay so see here what here what beta here impurity so we can uh, collect this whatever our ore okay so these are what beta simple here yes gravity separation or we can say hydraulic washing okay uh, for that we have to need depends on different densities okay so either uh, if you if you are considering your impurity will uh, uh, highest density so what will happen whatever impurities that will fix in that grooves okay udhar wo fas jayegi whatever your impurity and your ore will fall down along with your water okay so like that it is a simple method now uh, next uh, we will discuss here whatever small b in concentration of ore and or we can say in dressing of ore small b that is magnetic separation magnetic separation so here bachcho uh, ore ya impurity either ek ko uh, kya hona chahiye either wo magnetic or or suppose or will your magnetic then your impurity is what must be non magnetic okay so in this method magnetic separation we are considering what uh, whatever magnetized ore or we can say iron ore uh, we are uh, taking here okay so for that we need uh, like that okay you are, you are going to uh, suppose you visit uh, any mill okay so like that say here okay and here what beta conveyor belt suppose if you are aap uh, aata laate samay aapne dekha hoga okay so like that here one diagrammatically so they are moving uh, like this direction okay so suppose uh, here uh, we are going to add what yes ore plus your impurity yes beta here what uh, we are adding or plus impurity so see here here what your or plus impurity so obviously we are taking what iron ore here so what will happen if you start this then whatever your magnetic ore suppose iron ore that will fix here because it is magnetized so so here what will happen these are what collection plate so it will falls here 
okay so whatever we are taking here uh, any tank so in that your magnetic material whatever your iron oil uh, iron ore uh, we can here collect so here what beta yes iron ore and if you are considering suppose here impurity also there okay impurity so suppose this your impurity so it will not attracted by your this magnet so it will what okay or we can say here not uh, it will uh, stuck here because it is a non magnetic whatever impurity so it will directly fall here okay so directly fall here means what whatever here we will gain so what here uh, you will get yes here we will get your impurities yes here uh, we will get what beta here impurities we will get yes impurity so uh, like that uh, we can observe okay what uh, we can observe here magnetic separation and uh, for that we have to take here what specially iron ore means one of the here uh, physical method here no any chemical uh, we are using okay these are simply physical method so whatever your magnetic or iron ore they are supposed to down here because up to this your magnet it will attract here and it will fall down so we can separate iron ore and your what impurity okay so you see there what your magnetic separation okay now we will uh, discuss uh, one more here important that is a uh, froth flotation okay basically it is a uh, very much uh, important for your higher standard also okay which beta say here whatever your small c yes froth flotation froth flotation process okay so in this uh, froth flotation process beta okay so basically froth means what so we call it in marathi what as a face and face face heading okay and in hindi we call it as a chak okay so uh, for that uh, here one condition is there so what beta that condition okay your uh, whatever your ore and impurity you are taking so it is it must be either hydrophilic or hydrophobic okay so hydro hydrophilic means what uh, water loving and hydrophobic means what water hating okay so whatever uh, whatever you, uh, your ore particles okay so that ore particles is what water hating so water hating that's why we have to wait with oil or oh, that oil is what beta pine oil okay so see here uh, uh, we can write here we can draw here a uh, diagram for this okay so see whatever your uh, diagram for froth flotation process important condition is what hydrophilic and hydrophilic philic means water loving and phobic means water hating so here uh, whatever your ore ore particles it must be treated by your oil or you can say that pine oil and whatever your impurity is much to be treated by your water okay so see here diagrammatically how we can uh, show this see so this one uh, uh, as a tank uh, we are considering so see here like that suppose uh, here tank uh, we are taking okay next uh, like that okay so suppose here these are what whatever your ore particles and uh, we are adding here okay in this total here what oil plus water what we done oil plus water so as you know among the oil and water yes oil has a your density low okay water at density high okay so uh, that's why your oil particles that are floats on water okay so see here uh, your ore particles so your like this whatever these are what your yes ore particles okay that that are shown by with big one uh, and uh, these are what yes these are what your ore sorry your impurities okay like that bubbles that's why i shown these are what your ore it is weighted by oil and these are what beta here 
impurities understood i hope you understood uh, this all okay for flotation process so here uh, we want to some uh, uh, we have to mix this all okay so for mixing uh, we are taking what uh, we, have, we want to take mechanical agitation so say like that we have to uh, add say mechanical agitation okay and suppose we applying here from what air beta air so here like that mechanical agitation we want mechanical agitation okay what we are what we call this is a yes mechanical mechanical agitation means we have to mix this all then uh, then and then only uh, we will get uh, we get separate out whatever your over and impurities okay so after mechanical agitation what will happen yes whatever your over particles it forms such a uh, in uh, in hindi we call it what jhak and in, uh, in marathi what will what will occur face over the guy face okay so see like this if you hit this mechanical agitation okay so what will happen totally here after mechanical agitation your yes your over particles will goes up and whatever your impurity that impurity uh, we are wetted by what water it will settle down and uh, like that okay like that we can separate your ore okay and after that what will happen these are what will have impurity and that impurities we wetted by water it will uh, settle down only because the highest density okay so generally as uh, uh, you must know here okay so whatever uh, in this process sulfide ores we are adding to separate what sulfide ores so as you know sulfide ores your hgs cinnabar uh, galena pbs okay then your zinc black zns so that sulfide ores so uh, we can separate out by this flotation method understood so basically this uh, flotation process it is for your higher standard but uh, you take advantage now only because in this uh, whatever your competition part here uh, they will uh, okay if they will ask then you must know what uh, it is froth flotation process okay especially for what your yes sulfide ores okay so now we will discuss here yes here uh, whatever our concentration of our dressing of our here finish now we will discuss uh, next yes what beta whatever your conversion of ore yes conversion of ore into metal oxide okay ready with this yes see what beta here yes conversion conversion of ore yes conversion of ore into conversion of ore into what metal oxide okay conversion of ore into metal oxide so these are very much important here so beta i already told uh, why we are conversion of ore into metal oxide because after it convert into oxide so whatever extraction of that metal it becomes easier so so many times this question uh, uh, they will ask okay understood so very much important this question why conversion of ore we have to we have to much convert into its metal oxides okay so this frequently asked question understood so uh, see here after concentration of ore so now we discuss whatever our concentration of ore dressing of ore okay so generally whatever your uh, ore is subjected to what either roasting or calcination what beta here either roasting either roasting or what beta here calcination either roasting or calcination so see here uh, what we have to uh, do in here roasting so whatever whatever you are roasting so uh, you concentrate on this s 
you concentrate on this s so roasting this s is what okay so roasting s means what especially for sulfides okay so uh, understood so see here uh, we will take here one example ready with this example so see especially z and s so see these these what we are yes zinc blend this what your zinc blend okay one of the ore of your zn so here roasting so how we can de define this whatever ore we are to heat in the presence of oxygen so why in the presence of oxygen better because we want to convert this sulfide ore into their oxide we want to convert this sulfide ore into their oxide so that's why we are we must want here heating understood so like this okay so what you will get yeah children oh we will get okay afterwards you balance this reaction no issues but concept ko samajhna idhar whatever your s is is for what sulfide ores roasting and heating that ore in the presence of yes in the presence of what oxygen then and then only we will convert into zno then after uh, if you get this oxide then whatever extraction of that metal it becomes easier understood okay so we can write here heating in the presence of oxygen heating heating in the presence of yes heating in the presence of oxygen so this thing is very very much important here okay now calcination so suppose we, if you are thinking about calcination so beta what will happen so calcination cap so this cap is for for carbonate so especially for what beta here carbonates or so we can take here carbonates or okay so see here suppose if you take example of cso3 so क्या इधर जरूरत है ऑक्सीजन की नहीं बिकॉज हियर वॉट ऑलरेडी इन कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट योर ऑक्सीजन इज देयर अंडरस्टूड सो हियर हीटिंग इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन देन इट इज वॉट कैल्सिनेशन ये हीटिंग इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो बेटा वॉट यू विल गेट सी ओ प्लस सी ओ टू वी वॉन्ट इज हियर एज अ मेजर प्रोडक्ट ओके देन इट इज इजियर वॉट एवर इफ यू गेट ऑक्साइड then it is easier to extract that metal okay understood this so uh, i hope you understood whatever this process in that or we can write here heating yes beta heating in the absence of oxygen because whatever already your oxygen is present here in calcium carbonate but here no oxygen is present even that or okay so uh, suppose here one thing will happen suppose if you are doing a, if you are thinking about uh, this ore so if you take this outside uh, for uh, so many uh, after a long time if you take for that uh, what extraction so obviously uh, that ore whatever if you keep aside that ore so it will absorb some uh, moisture from atmosphere but here no any uh, whatever uh, what suppose if they will uh, or they will absorb suppose zn is or this co3 they will absorb uh, at, uh, moisture from atmosphere then here no any issues because in both the process we are doing heating only so if we, if uh, any reason jab uh, jab कोई भी रीजन से हमारा और जब बाहर रहता है तो इट विल नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय दैट मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम एटमॉस्फेयर बिकॉज इन बोथ द प्रोसेस वी आर डूइंग हीटिंग ओनली ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस रोस्टिंग एंड कैल्सिनेशन व्हाट एवर दैट मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इट विल व्हाट इट विल एक्सपेल्ड आउट आफ्टर हीटिंग ओके अंडरस्टूड दिस ओके सो व्हाट एवर दिस बोथ कैल्सिनेशन एंड रोस्टिंग ओके वन मोर थिंग अबाउट दिस important both this calcination and roasting these are uh, okay these are possible or you can say these are carried out in special type of furnace so that special type of furnace we call it the river beratory furnace 
reverberatory furnace whatever this roasting and calcination we can do this in special type of furnace so that special type of furnace is what reverberatory river beratory furnace okay so up till the, in this lecture uh, we cover this uh, whatever uh, two uh, sub steps in that metallurgical operation whatever next uh, step we will discuss within uh, a second okay i hope you understood all if any doubts will come you can ask or you can send on whatsapp so thank you very much beta here okay